What's up, guys? It's Friday afternoon, and we're loading up. Now, today, I'm going to run you through probably what I think is one of the most important products that you can fit to a four-wheel drive vehicle, and that's got to be a snorkel. Now, for the past five years, we've been running the TJM AirTech snorkel on every one of the builds that we've done here at Patriot Campers. And like I said, today, I'm going to run you through the reasons why I think a snorkel is one of the, probably the top five must-have items to fit to your four-wheel drive. So the first thing that the snorkel does is obviously it brings the air intake of your vehicle up to a higher point. Most vehicle uh, air boxes, or almost all vehicle air boxes, are sitting somewhere behind the guard, either on this side of the vehicle or the other side. Now what that means is when you do a water crossing, you get water come up, spill up over the bonnet. Naturally, the water's gonna get inside the air box, go into your engine, as most people know, water doesn't compress like fuel. What happens? You bend a rod, hang it out the side of the block, and you end up with oil all down the beach. Again, I know from experience. So, when we bring the air intake right up to the top of the vehicle, obviously, you get a lot more height. So you can see on the 79 Series Land Cruiser, you're probably sitting somewhere about six or 800 mil of height that you can get uh, clean air coming into your intake as you're crossing uh, over a water crossing. Now, the reason I like the TJM air tech uh, out of all of them. Number one has got to be aesthetics and TJM have really concentrated, especially over the past sort of five years, on making products that are suitable for modern vehicles. Now the 79 series has been around for a long time. The install on this one, and I'll run you through that in a minute, is probably the simplest because the 79 comes standard with a hole cut in the side of the guard and this one just simply bolts straight on. Dave, you over the back? Yeah. Come around here mate. And mate, these things here, they bolt on pretty straightforward, eh? But super easy, instructions are easy to follow. What about something like a 200 series or a Ford Ranger or something like that where you actually got to punch a hole in the side of the gut? I'd probably, you're really only adding another hour of your time yep. to, to both of those vehicles. The stencil is there, ready to tape on. Yeah, they come with that paper do. stencil, you just tape it on That's the market right. out. And easy to follow. Would you recommend for somebody at home would you recommend somebody at home cutting a hole in the side of $120,000 for half? Definitely not if, there is, if they're not competent. Yeah, 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 I would agree. So guys, there's probably a tip there for your 79 series, straight bolt on. Pretty much anyone can fit one at home in an hour or so. Mm. If you're going to be fitting it to a brand new vehicle, i.e., you know, like a Sahara, like I just said, or something new, get down to a TJM store, trust me. Again, mm -hmm. I want to put my hand up and say I know from experience. I've cut a hole in the guard before <laughs> that, did, that didn't quite fit and Dave actually fixed it for me. Snorkel, one of my top five, would you agree? 100%. One of my top five items that I would fit to any four-wheel drive vehicle. For more information, get on the TJM website or visit your local TJM store. It's Friday afternoon, we're out of here.